Welcome into the video. I am your tech guy, Wayne, and today I wanna to show you what to do if you forget your lock screen pattern or your pin code. Unfortunately, this is a very frustrating situation because when you forget this, there are not many options to get you back into the phone. There are even some softwares that will promise you that they'll be able to get you back into the phone, but uh, Android released a few updates a while back that make it almost impossible to access your data if you forget the passcode. So I'm gonna show you how to do what's called a hard reset, and this is going to basically wipe all the data off of the phone, and then it's gonna allow you to at least set it up like a new phone and begin loading your data back on. As a disclaimer, this is not going to get back your files, you're gonna lose them, but you will be back into the phone and you'll be able to start using the phone again. So if you'd like to proceed, that's the disclaimer. Let's go ahead and get started. You're gonna hold down on the power button and the volume up and volume down buttons, okay? Now let me walk you through the process first before I do it. So power, volume up, volume down. We're gonna hold these three buttons until the screen goes dim. And once it goes dim, I'm gonna let go of the volume down button and continue to hold volume up and power. And that's gonna take us to a special menu that will allow us to do the reset. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we just let go of the volume down button. We're gonna to continue to hold that volume up and power, and it should take us right to the boot menu. If you have any issues doing this, simply just start over, no problem. So this is the menu that um, we wanna to get to, and here's how we're going to wipe the data and be able to start over. So one thing you'll notice, the touch screen is totally disabled. You won't be able to use the touch. You'll be using the volume up and volume down keys to toggle through this menu, and you'll wanna to toggle down to wipe data, factory data, or factory reset, okay? So once we're here, you're gonna use your power button and just simply press it, and then it's gonna say, are you sure? If your SD card is encrypted, all your data on your SD card will also be lost. So that's a note. If you have a memory card in the phone, take out the memory card before you do this next step. Volume down. We're on factory data reset. We're pressing the button. It's gonna happen super fast. It's done. That's it. Now I'm gonna simply press my power button again. And this is going to restart the phone. And then it should take us right to the welcome screen and allow us to begin setting the phone up. Now this is not the end of the process, so make sure you keep watching because after this, it's gonna ask us like the language, it's gonna ask us to connect to Wi-Fi, and then it's going to ask you to put in your Google account information. So you need to have that because without that, it will not let you finish setting the phone up. So that is the final step when you are trying to basically reset a phone that you've forgotten the password on. So just keep watching to make sure you get the whole process right. And obviously while we're waiting for the phone to reboot, hit that like button because I know you learned something and that's a great way of just showing some love that costs you nothing but goes a long way in helping this video reach a lot of people. All right, here we go. So the phone is loading up. There's that welcome screen. That's exactly what we wanted to see. I'm gonna hit start. It's gonna ask us to accept the terms, or at least I normally skip. If you wanna transfer data from an old phone, you can do it this way. I'm just gonna hit set up manually. It will ask us to connect to a Wi-Fi network. You cannot skip this step. You need to do this as well. Um, this, because they're gonna verify the Gmail using the Wi-Fi, unless you have data on the phone. If you have data, then you could skip this step, but if the phone doesn't have a SIM card, if you skip this, it's not gonna let you finish the setup either. All right, our Wi-Fi is connected. Next screen should ask us to sign into our Google account. So I'm gonna hit set up later. So next, it's gonna ask us um, to draw the, the pattern. And again, we don't know it. That's why we did the reset, so it's okay. What you'll need to do is right underneath, it'll say, use my Google account instead. So I'm gonna tap on use my Google account and simply being able to log in with the proper credentials will get you past the pin code. So I'm gonna put in my uh, Gmail information now 
and that will take us to the next step. All right, so I just put in my email address and password. It's saying the previous Google account on this device has been verified. You can now add that Gmail back to the device or you can use a new one. And here I'm going to select use new account, but it's up to you. You can use a new account or you can keep that same one. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna skip past this for now, but you can always set this up later in the settings. Um, we'll copy our files later and continue to, to skip past this. I just wanna show you that it's able to take us all the way to the main home screen. And that's the end of our video. But basically guys, the process is done. That is the process from beginning to end. And look, it's a bummer. I actually had a phone that got I got locked out of because of an Android software glitch and I lost all my data. So let me just share a couple of, of notes on this before I end the video. When you sign your Google account, it, it will begin to reload all of your contacts. So a lot of your contacts will be there. Now, in some cases, if you were using Google Messages, it might have been able to back up some of your text messages. It's not a for certainty, but sometimes it will load your old Google Messages. So you can check the Google Messaging app and see if any are pulled down from the cloud. And then if you were backed up using Google Photos as well, then some of your photos will be accessible too. So. I know it's frustrating that you no longer have some of the files on your phone. Unfortunately, this happens. Make sure when you set a pin or a passcode that you have it saved somewhere so that you never have to worry about this issue again. Um, it's super frustrating to obviously lose your data, uh, but let this be a lesson for the future. Um, we're officially back into the phone now and now able to begin setting it up and using it. Obviously, one of the issues with your being locked out of your phone is you just you can't do anything. So um, I hope you guys found this helpful. Again, I'm sorry for those of you that lost data because you didn't know your pin. Hopefully this was still helpful because you're back in the phone and now you can at least start using it again. Hit the like button down below. Leave me a comment as well. Thanks again for watching. Take care and as always, have a good one.